Good evening. Thank you for joining us for another midweek service. My name is Edgar, joined by my beautiful wife, Diana. And today we are just honored and uh, privileged to be able to bring a message. Uh, today we want to bring this uh, word, like a word of encouragement. Something that we've gone through and I know a lot of people have. And I just hope that this relates and resonates with uh, everybody that's listening. Let me open up in a word of prayer so we can get started. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for today, Lord. Thank you for everyone that's out there listening and watching this message, Lord. I pray that this message glorifies you, Lord, and just falls on good soil, Lord, that everybody is blessed by it, Lord, and that you are, again, glorified, Lord, for everything that you continue to do in our lives, Lord. We thank you for everybody that's out there listening, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. So today I wanted to open up with a scripture, John 16, 33. Again, that's John 16, 33. I have told you these things so that you have so that you may have peace. In this world you will have trouble, but take heart. I have overcome the world. Amen. Amen. So I know that a lot of you know what's going on. And for those who don't, um, my wife recently went through a surgery where... Uh, a hysterectomy. A hysterectomy. So that just brought a lot of different emotions um, into the picture, especially with me. Uh, I've always, you know, dreamt of having our own children. And now with what happened, you know, it, it puts us, it puts, it put me in a certain uh, situation with my feelings, you know, in a, in a place where I'm asking why, why did this happen? Why, why us? And, you know, I was in a place where in my walk, where I was just standing still on the path that God has laid before me. I was angry, and again, I was in my feelings because I wanted to know why, right? We asked that question over and over. Why us? Why me? Why did this have to happen? But we don't know. We don't know, only God knows why he does the things he does which in hindsight, you look at everything and at one point, that's the sadness took over and I was mad, I was just angry and just, again, just not wanting to move forward. But my wife was always my voice of reason. And looking at her strength of everything that she went through during this process and seeing how strong she's been moving forward, still praising God, even though she was going through all that pain. It, I had to remember who I serve. I had to remember that she is the one that, that's gonna get her through this. So I did, I got out of my feelings and I prayed to God. I was like, God, please help her. Help her with this pain. Give her comfort. Move on her behalf that this pain goes away, that she's well, that she's healthy. Is all I asked. And it threw me back to, to remember uh, the book of Job. How you know, Job had a lavish life. You know, he he had his sons, his daughters, his oxen, camels, and the whole nine, right? And because of Satan, testing, I guess, God in a way, letting, telling God, hey, if he really serves you and believes in you that much, let me take everything away from him. 
and let's see if he doesn't curse your name. And he didn't. He lost everything and he didn't curse the name of God. I'm not saying that we're losing everything, <laughs> but in a sense where, again, in my heart, what I wanted was taken away from me. And I felt that way. I felt like, am I being tested? Is my heart or my faith being tested right now? To where the enemy wants me to curse the name of God because he took something from us? No. Anger, yes, came over me. I'm not, not going to sit here and tell you that it was all hunky-dory. But we have to understand that in every situation, God has a purpose for everything, right? There's a purpose to everything that he does in our lives. Whether we understand it or not. I'm sure that day we meet him, he'll explain everything that happened to us in our life and let us know what, or even uh, down the line, he'll let us know, this is why this happened, so that this could happen. And we continue to move forward, move forward with God holding his hand and now we walk, well now I, instead of standing still on that path that's laid before me, I picked up my feet again and started walking, started moving forward. Because I know that me standing still will never give me the answers that I'm looking for. Me standing there it's going to stop others from being blessed because bringing a message, bringing an encouragement, uh, just bringing God's word to somebody is a blessing to that person. And I don't want to stop that. I don't want to be a reason why somebody doesn't hear the word of God. I don't want to be the reason that uh, I take a blessing from somebody because I wasn't obedient. So I want to be obedient to God. I want to continue that path so that he continues to give us that opportunity, to give us that, uh, that blessing to move forward, to spread his word, to do his work, to glorify him. Because at the end of the day, with my wife sitting here by my side, knowing that she's getting stronger and stronger day by day, healthier and healthier. Yeah. That's all glory to him. That's all glory to him and him alone. Because I know that whatever the future holds for us, it'll be with him in the mix. It'll be with him by our side holding our hands. He will be glorified for everything. Amen. It's like the um, the story of Joseph in the book of Genesis. If you haven't read it yet, we strongly recommend that you read it. It's a it's such a great encouragement to to know everything that Joseph went through and that God still helped him, still gave him favor. He was sold into slavery um, by his jealous brothers. But even into slavery, the Lord gave him so much favor and took care of him. But, you know, we know that the devil doesn't stop. The devil continues to attack. Even when we feel like we're at our highest, um, the devil got in there and, and used, you know, his master's wife to try to seduce him, to sleep with her. Um, but of course he refused, so she got upset and, you know, made up a lie. <clears throat> and you know, um, her husband, the, um, Joseph's master got furious and threw Joseph into a prison. But even in prison, even in prison, the Lord gave Joseph favor. And, you know, he was like 
um, he gave him favor with the with the prison warden and and took care of him and gave and helped him like another promise of the lord for he will be the head and not the tail he did that for joseph Eve, especially after he got out of prison i mean you really um should read that story it's 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 a beautiful story um but my point is that god will always help us overcome whatever trials that we face whatever battle that you may be facing now um yes we get in our feelings yes we cry yes we get mad yes everything and uh, uh, all the above but we need to remember the word of god we need to sharpen our sword with the word of god that's the reason why he left us the bible and i know it might take some time sometimes i mean i i'd be the, i'll be the first to admit that when my husband and i were going through this i didn't want to hear i didn't want anybody's advice i didn't want anybody to tell me to get in my word or you know i understand i didn't want to hear anything we isolated ourselves because we had to go through it it's different stages different phases of life but like my husband said once we got out of our feelings it's like come on we know better we need to get in our word we need to remind ourselves of our purpose we're not going to stop serving the lord because we didn't get what we wanted and who are we to ask the lord why right like my husband said sometime in the future we will we'll understand i know we will because this isn't our only trial. This isn't our only battle we've gone through. It's, there's been so many. Um, but he always sees us through. He always helps us overcome. Because that's what we're meant to be. To be overcomers. If Jesus overcame, like like um, he says that all the time, I overcame the world. It's because our his children are to overcome everything. And like the scripture that my husband used in the beginning, you know, he, he told us we will have trials. We will have troubles. He never promised we were going to have this perfect, happy life. But we need to keep going because the tests are not going to stop. And, the you know, the way we got our strength is by the word of God. By, by reading, listening whatever, worshiping, listening to a worship song first thing in the morning instead of the news or whatever, whatever works for you, but it's being in your word. And if you have, you know, believers that are around you and that can encourage you and remind you, then hey, by all means, that's great. But not everybody does. So we need to remind ourselves that we go through these battles, not only for ourselves, that's something that we're learning as well that, okay, so, you know, we're healing, it's a process, but now we gotta be there for somebody else. We have to encourage and pray over them and, and let them know how we um, overcame that trial. Exactly. He's already putting people in my life that are going to get hysterectomies. They're already asking me questions and I'm like, oh my God, that was fast. So he just keeps teaching us reasons why we need to maintain ourselves strong. Because I don't know how many times it says it in the Bible, but it says that we need to be strong. We need to be fearless. We need to walk in a room with confidence and, and speak his word. That's right. Because we don't want anybody is a, I don't know, blood on our shoulders. <laughs> We are held responsible for people that he places in their life to encourage and you know for the seasoned christians i know that you guys know that very well so it's just it's different chapters and you know my husband and i are now instead of you know crying or asking why we're like okay god you got me through i got through the surgery i didn't have any complications thank you thank you jesus Amen. um i'm healing Every day that passes, I feel better each day, thank God. And now we're like, okay, what's next? What's next? How may we serve you? What's on your agenda? And that's just the, the type of attitude that, that we need to have. And we understand it's a process, but you'll get there. You just keep believing, keep, keep that relationship close with the Lord. Keep talking to him, keep venting to him, keep worshiping him and he will see you through 
Amen. Amen. And just remember, the battles are always going to be there. But how are you going to face them? Those obstacles will always be in front of you. Are you going to go through it or are you going to go around it? Are you going to avoid the fight? Remember, the fight does make you stronger. Because the harder you fight, the more you are in your word, the more you are in prayer and worship. That's how you fight. That's how you fight what you can't see. Remember, we fight in the supernatural, not in the physical. Amen. These bodies may, may be damaged, may be hurt, but our spirits still remain strong. And we have to understand that. Our, our feelings are always going to betray us. Our faith, our God, will never betray us. He will stand strong with us. Continue to strengthen Him as long as we keep asking Him for that strength. The day we let go of His hand is the day that this world will consume us. So we would like to leave you with this scripture. Um, it's Psalm 112, verse 7. And the Word of God says, They, which is all of us, won't be afraid of bad news. Their hearts are steady because they trust the Lord. Amen. We have to keep our hearts steady. That's what he has commanded us to do. So we pray that this has encouraged you um, and that you just continue to praise the Lord with all your heart, no matter what you're going through and know that he will help you overcome. That's right. And just a reminder, if you guys need prayer or anything like that, leave a comment and somebody from the church, if not myself, will check and we'll get back to you. We'll pray with you. Remember, the river is always open for everybody. Come join us. The water's fine. Amen. Amen. Be blessed.